Hello, good evening, everybody. Welcome to today's class. I appreciate everybody for being part of today's class. Today, you might probably be wondering what I'm doing for today. So for today, we are going to be looking at what we have for today. Let's go to my screen. For day three, which is today, we're we'll looking at letter chapter four and five. We we'll talk about partial closing. We we'll dive into train stopping. Yeah. We we'll look into train trading, and finally, I'll talk about edging. Finally, I'll talk about what edging. Let's start. What is MetaTrader 4? MetaTrader 4 is an electronic trading platform widely used by online retail foreign exchange speculative traders. It was developed by MetaCode Software and released in 2005. The software is licensed to exchange brokers who provide the software to their clients. The software consists of both a client and a server component. The server component is run by the broker and the client software is provided to the broker's customers who use it to see live streaming price and charts. Now, Meta 4 was designed 2005 and it was designed with Meta Code language. Meta Code language is a programming language that programmers basically use to produce trading software. And if I could example of trading software is MetaTrader 4. So along the line, April 2013, MetaTrader 5 was released. The release of MetaTrader 5 helped a lot of traders because MetaTrader 5 is now simplified into what people now enjoy. So there are some kind of differences between MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. The difference is shown on my screen. Number one, MetaTrader 4 is used for, it's used for MetaCode, MetaCode language 4 is used for MetaTrader 4. And MetaTrader 5 is designed via MetaCode language 5. Number two, another key thing I want you to look at here is MetaTrader 4, it has four types of pending orders. Why MetaTrader 5 has six types of pending orders? Are you with me? And these are the things I want you to look into. Now, from this MetaTrader 4 and 5, there are some unique things I will teach you people later in the advanced class. But right from this place, let me now talk about market execution and pending order. Market execution is a type of execution when a client is placing an order and specifies good volume and price. The order should be processed instantly. If the price changes at that moment, a broker cannot change the execution price. Now, market execution is when a trader dives into the market instantly and starts trading. But pending order is when a trader uses buy stop, sell stop, buy limits, sell limits. I know this thing looks like magic to some of us, but I promise you that in the advanced class, I will talk about pending orders and you are going to love it because I'm going to try my best to break it down to the simplest form. And I'm very sure you would understand, you would understand it. So the next thing I'll show you now is meta to the four, depending order, and meta to the five. One thing you must know today is meta to the four has four types of pending orders. They are buy stop, sell stop, buy limits, sell limits. Meta to the five 
has six types of pending orders. They are buy stock, sell stock, buy limit, sell limit, then buy stock limit, and what? Sell stock limit. So these are the kind of things you should know about this. Let's proceed. Today, I want to start with something called partial closing. So my next, my topic is partial closing. Mr. Johnson, welcome, sir. Good evening, Mr. Gospar. Welcome. Hi, sir. Mr. Gospar, good evening. Good evening. We bless God. Yes, sir. Sorry, my network has been very funny. That's why I joined late. I understand you, sir. Welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. On meta to that four, this is exactly what you will see. You will see something like this. And let's see around here, you see a lot size. Let's say I'm using the lot size of 0 0.05. I talked about lot size yesterday. Now, let's say I have a trade running. That trade is Euro GPP. Let's say Euro GPP is giving a profit of $20. So let's say you want to book part of the profit. If you book part of the profit, then it means that I will come here and reduce this. If I read, let's say I reduce this to 0 0.04. Immediately I reduce this to 0 0.04. You will see that at the bottom, you will see something like close with profit. $16. Do you know why $16? It's sixteen dollars because you have reduced this lot size to what zero point zero four. So, but guess what? You see, have zero point zero one running in the market. So this zero point zero one running is left with four dollars. Can you see? So, do you know one beauty about partial closing? Once you see close with profit. You can just close this in profit. And guess what? Out of this $20, you have claimed $16 as your profit. So let's say I have $16 in my profit margin. So if I have $16 in my profit margin, with this $4 running, there are so many conditions I can consider. I repeat, there are so many conditions I can consider. And the condition is that it's either this one increases, let's say this one increases later to $7. So if you add the $7 to it, then it means that at the end of the day, you have won $23. But if God forbid, let's say you had $16, and let's say, this market did not go your way. It now started going downwards and you even went to go and achieve minus $7 at the end of the day. So from that profit you have booked, which is $16, if you had minus $7 to it, 
at least you still go home with nine dollars. Can you see? At least you still go home with what? Nine dollars. So that is exactly how to partial close. The main thing is partial closing is booking parts of your profits in the forest market. Are you with me? Partial closing is booking part of your profit in the forex market. Let's proceed. The next one I like to talk about is twin trading. What's twin trading? Let's say, oh, sorry, trade stopping. Let's say I have a chart like this. This is the entry point of my chart. Let's say this is my take profit. And let's say this is my stop loss. Let me define what take profit is. Take profit is a point whereby a market reaches and the market closes in profit. Are you with me? Take profit is a point whereby the market reaches and the market closes in profit. Up loss is a point whereby the This is what I'm saying. Whenever the forest market crosses the entry point, these were in profits. That is if you are buying this market condition. Let's say this thing now goes and hits your take profit. Automatically, you will have that profit in your profit. <coughs> are you with me? I repeat. Automatically, that profit, that profit in your profit margin. But if, for instance, this market now reversed, it's not started going down, it hits the stop loss. It means automatically you have struck that market in a loss. It means automatically you have lost in that market. But what trade stopping means is this. Let me write the topic on the board. Trade stopping means that if I have a chart, and let's say the, on the chart, the market was going like this. If the market now starts swinging, you know it is either it touched this stock or it goes down. And let's say already you were on a profit of $25. You know, at this point, you'll be skeptical in a way like, is this market going to go on a loss? Is it going to go on a profit? It's not even hitting the take profit. What can you do? You can come here. And let's say this take profit, this entry point has a value of 1.12, 500. Let's say your take profit was 30 pips ahead. So let's say this one is 1.12, 800. Let's say your stop loss is 1.12, 0, 0, 0. So what you do is, you come here, you go to modif you go to the trade that is running. So as the trade is running, you go there, you click on modify. Immediately you click on modify, you go to your stop loss region. I will show you today on this on Mr. Johnson's phone. You go to your stop loss region, you change the value to something around this. 
So it now means that your new stop loss is within the range of 1.125 and 1.128. So this new value will probably be 1.12650. Can you see? 1.12650. So now, if this market misbehaves, let's say this market misbehaves and comes and hits this your stop loss, you don't have to feel bad because it's only struck the stop loss above the entry point. Are you with me? You don't have to feel bad because it's always struck the stop loss above the entry point. So from here, it should now be, let's say at the end of the day, you now go home with what? One point, you now go home with maybe $17. Are you there? Let's say at the end of the day, you go home with what? $17 dollars so that is that that is that the next thing i'd like to talk about is is twin trading let me clear my screen The question is, what is twin trading? Are you thinking? The question is, what is twin trading? Twin trading is, let's say you have a signal, and that signal is maybe GPP USD. And it is buy buy stop at let's say the value you are using is one point one two four hundred. Then let's say from here, your take profits, you have TP1, your TP1, you are adding 10 pips to this 40, to be 50. That's 1.1 to 500. Let's say your TP2, Let's say your TP2, you add another 10 pips. That makes it 1.1 to 600. Let's say your stop loss, let me use red for that. Let's say your stop loss is maybe 1.1. One one nine hundred. This is a signal that a company can generate and give to you. Like that man that does copy trading with Octa FX, this is how they usually bump their signals out. Are you with me? So the next thing you have to do, the next thing you have to do is what? You come here. On the chat, on the chat, you have entry points. Let me use a black marker. Remember, 
Remember that the value for your entry point is 1.12. Yeah, this one is TP1. Your TP1 is 1.12 500. Please, I need you all to pay attention. There's something serious I want to show you. Yeah, this one is TP2. One point one two six hundred. Then let's say your stop loss. Then let's say your stop loss is one point one one nine hundred. Remember, I was just taking fifty pips away. From here, if because it is a buy stop, a pending order, this thing is what I'll see teach you in the advanced class. Because it's a pending order, the market goes like this. Once it goes up, immediately it hits the entry point. These two TP1, TP2 be activated. What do I mean by activated? Let me break down my English. Because it is a pending order on two things, the two of them will be activated in the market. They will act as market executions. Are you able? Then, once it goes up, remember from year to year. Let's say from year to year is $5. From year to year, it's ten dollars. Once this thing goes up and strike TP one, guess what? You have already won five dollars in your profit margin. I said it. If this thing now, I always tell people something: when you hit TP one, move this your stop loss. and put it on the entry point. Whenever you put your stop loss on your entry point value, you know what you did? You just broke even. Are you okay? You just broke even. Broke even is, I repeat, is when you put your stop loss on your entry point value. Once you break even, if this market now goes further and hits to be two, let me use a blue marker so that I don't get confused. If this market goes further and hits to be two, glory be to God in the eyes. That means that you successfully won an additional $10. $10 plus $10 is what? You get $15 already. I seen it. But if if eventually, or God forbid, remember, once you hit TP1, that line will disappear on your chart. But if God forbid, after it has struck TP1, the market now made a U-turn and goes down and hits your entry point. That's this is the reason why you should, you, you should always break even whenever you hit your TP1, once it comes and hits this down, glory be to God because it will be $5, your initial $5 plus $0. So in this case, you can still go home with $5. But guys, guess what? I have one good news for you. If you hit CP1, and remember, the team is still spiking up. Do you, know, do you know what you do? 
that strong TP1, do you know what you do? You can, after break, you've broken even, you can now be moving this your stop loss above. You can be pushing it ahead, be pushing it ahead, be pushing it. So if eventually, maybe it did not hit TP2, this market now decides to misbehave. It now goes down. Guess what? It will hit your stop loss above your entry point, which is what? Trade stopping. So in that way, you can have five dollars plus maybe probably eight dollars. So in this way, you have acquired three things. You are, you acquire in any of these three things you trade stop in number one. Is it that you trade stop and you get both profits? Ah, there was a day I sent a signal to my signal group because I have a signal group where people pay for. Although sometimes I, I can eject people from that signal group if I see that they are being too greedy. Are you with me? There was a time I sent signal to somebody, not even in the group. That it was um, to intrade him. That before that guy just dropped that, God says, man, it was not for three minutes. Everything has we are in profit. The guy shouted. And he was using a very massive lot size that day. So these things, they work. So this is for when you make both profits. So this condition is when you trade stop, you twin trade, and you trade stop. This condition is when you twin trade and you break even. Are you with me? This condition is when you twin trade and what? You break even. Let me talk about the last one for before we go to practical class. There will be another Zoom meeting for the practical class. The last one I'll talk about is edging. The last one I'll talk about is edging. What is edging? Edging is a way of managing your money in the forest market, especially when you are in a bad condition. When I mean bad condition, let's say, for instance, Mr. Johnson was in a trade. Then all of a sudden, Mr. Johnson now started going backwards, like he was losing. See, let me tell you one advantage of being in the advanced class. If you are in the advanced class, you finish my training, Let's say, God forbid, you are in a terrible situation. I will only, if you call on me, like the way some of us who chatted ourselves today, if you call on me, I will definitely attend to your problem. There was a day somebody almost lost his account. That guy will never forget this thing. <laughs> this thing I'm telling you is something that happened two years ago. I can't remember the month, maybe August or July, I can't remember. He was very greedy. He did something bad. But when he called me, what did I do? I told him the patterns to go with. He was still shivering. I told him to give me his method to that for login details. I handled his account. That guy survived that condition. He, he, he will never forget that moment in these days. So these are the, when you have a mentor, a mentor is supposed to put you through when you fall into some kind of troubles. But you have to be careful. You shouldn't always be putting yourself in a condition whereby it should always save you. I need to be truthful. I wouldn't say this because I'm, I, 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 this man is saying this because he wants me to be in the advanced class. If I warn you severally and you persist, I'll just leave you. That's me. Because I always like to attend to people who always listen. That's me. Don't do this. And if you don't do it, fine. I will always save you. Are you there? But if it's persistent, wow. I will remind you that I warned you about it. So that is that. So edging. Let's say you are in a terrible situation. Let's say you are in a GPP USD trade. Let's say you are in my. You know when you are losing in the forest market. For those who don't know what I'm saying here, if you are losing, maybe you are in minus one one hundred one hundred and ten. At this point, you'll be sweating buckets. <laughs> You know, see, this market, eh? I remember when I started this business, the tension then, now, 
I don't even use demo account to practice new strategies. I use my own life account for you to see how it's used to me now. You know, if you're at this point, you'll be sweating buckets. I mean, you'll be sweating like, let's say you're on a bike in this trade and you are losing. Do you know what edging means? Edging means enter that same trade, GPPUSD. So, if you enter GPP USD, instead of you entering as a buy, you will now go the reverse. You enter this market as a sell. I see the class. So, if this one is reading minus 110, this one will now start reading a new value, which is zero. If this one is now reading minus 130, I would have loved to use that red marker so that I don't get confused. If this one is not going higher, 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 like minus 140, this one will not have a new value. And the new value will be what? 30. So what edging does is immediately you introduce that same open position. Are you seeing it? It will automatically stop that initial trade from incurring further loss. But the condition is, how can you survive this kind of situation finally? The only way to survive it is to fund your account more. So that your margin level doesn't go down less. Are you in class? I want to take questions now. I want to take questions because very soon the market will be dragging and I want that market to be running so that I can do practicals for you guys. Please ask your questions now. Good evening, Mr. Gospa. Good evening, Mr. Johnson. I appreciate you. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Please, uh, uh, the one you said, by the time our trade is on profit, we can be shifting our stop loss yes, to the entry level so that we'll break even. Yes, sir. And uh, if, if, the, if the trade is still being profitable, we can be shifting our stop loss. Yes, what sir. Of if, what of if, per adventure, the market choose to do a, a, pull, a pullback to continue the trade? And upon doing the pullback, it now hit the stop loss definitely to take us out of the market but meanwhile the market only came to do pull, uh, uh, pull back to continue going feed by by there we must have been edged out of the market with little profit meanwhile the market is still on the profitable side the truth about the matter is there are some pullbacks pullbacks are that can be more disastrous. I hope you know what I'm saying. The pullback can go worse. It's true, it's true. Do you agree with me? I am looking Very at a well. condition whereby you don't fall into a total loss. Normally, a trader who is not greedy is not supposed to target more than 10, 20 pips in the market. But you see somebody, because they want to put all the pressure on their account, they will be targeting 100 pips. If you make 10, 20 pips, you leave. Sometimes, sir, pullbacks can be so grievous that if you don't break even, if you don't trade stop, and you leave your stop loss naked, and your TP is there, the pullback can even hit you off the market. And, sir, you know that could be more frustrating. You were initially in profit, and all of a sudden, it struck your stop loss. I mean, your day will be so bad. So, trade Very stopping bad. saves you to even gain some more profits and set you from any terrible... Co See, let me tell you something, sir. You can be in a trade whereby the trade can be there for two weeks. You are in loss, there's no profit. That's more frustrating. So trade stopping saves you from you not seeing yourself entering the market for the second time to make profits. These are the strategies many forex traders they miss and they burn their money. Are you with me? So trade stopping I'm is advisable, sir. Except in that case, Mr. Johnson, let me give you one more expo. 
Except in that case, you move that train stop a bit above the entry point, you give, you give the market room to breathe. Okay. If you give the market room to breathe, if the pullback is short, it will surely shoot up again. You get it. If that retracement is short, it will pull back again. But if you feel you have made a lot of money, let me just, if this is a hit, fine. I do it very well. I do it very well. You can just do that and leave the market close for the day. It's not compulsory a trader must trade every day. That's a mistake in make. Some traders can decide that on Friday, like me now, I don't, I don't usually take trades on Friday. If you see me take trade on Friday, maybe I have a clear open position. You get it, sir. Mr. Sosa, thank you. I'm seeing your thumb, thumbs up. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Do you have a question, Mr. Sosa? Mr. Sosa. Mr. Johnson, is it clear to you, sir? Yes, I'm clear. Okay. All right. I want to talk about the advanced class. Some people asked me yesterday that if the advanced class will hold, yes, it will hold. So the advanced class, please, let's know that we still have a second class. So hope you know so, Mr. Johnson. For today, right? Yes, today. I'm sending another link for today. Hope you know so. Okay, no problem, sir. Okay. Except if you people want us, you know what? If, if you feel no, it's late, don't worry. I can continue the second part of the practicals in the advanced class. Okay. I'll do it in okay. the advanced class. I promise you. Okay. That. So let's now right. end the class. Let me talk about the advanced class. The advanced class is actually a class that will start exactly on Monday. And that will be Monday from 31st of October. And the advanced class will end. And let me check my date here, please. It will end 14th of November. I repeat, the advanced class will start 31st of October and it will end 14th of October. Now, because Mr. Sosa and I don't know if so, Mr. Sosa, some of us were looking at me giving a discount. I, I bring, I talk of there will be a discount. It's actually 10,000 naira for that two weeks. But sorry, how much? 10K for two weeks. Okay. But All right. I, I'm going to take a discount of 30% off it. I'm going to pity people this time. I've never done this before. Over the years, I've been conducting this training. But because of what one of my brothers said, I consider that I would take 30% off it. So you guys can pay 7K for the advanced class. But there is a but. That 7K is limited. It's only for five people. Once the gate of five people reaches, I am not going to take any 7K again. I know it is money. I know some, somebody might be saying, ah, that's what Nigerians will say. Well, if you think it's a lie, if we have five people here that makes this payment and I take them the training, it's fine by me. Are you with me? I'm so, so satisfied. But once the gate of 7K, five people comes and you are the sixth person, you will pay that 10K. So I will advise anybody in the house now who is ready to make payments. If you can pay, make your payment now, let me just register you in the, I will put you in the Telegram group. The time for the training is nine, nine to 10 every day for that two weeks. I don't, I don't teach weekends. It's only from Monday to Friday. I only go into Saturdays. Maybe we'll miss a day in the week. Are you with me? So if you make your payment now, I'll put you on the Yes, sir. On the Mr. Yes. Mr. Gospel. Yes. You say 9 to 10 a.m. or p.m.? P.m., sir. P.m. All right. Of course, I know you go to work now. You understand? But don't worry. If yeah. I'm not taking another advanced class, I don't think I'm taking any other beginner's class for this period. I do other trainings. I, I'm, I just do this. Okay. And this might even be the end for the year because I have other trainings I'm running too. But if you exceed, if, any, if you pay after these five people, God knows I'll not take 7K from anybody. It's going to be 10 so advice, if you can make your payment immediately, pay and book your slots now. So that's that. Is there any question before we go, please? Uh, for, for now, no. I think uh, at the advanced class level, I believe you teach us yes, what sir. we need to know. Because the little I know about Forex is that technicality in it. Yes. 
Yes, that technicality, how to analyze the market is very key. Yes, yeah, so I think very key. Uh, I, I, I strongly believe we'll get that from um, the you advanced will, class. You, we will practice it. We will take trades. I'm not yet to force okay. to read it yourself, sir. We will be seeing Hello. our profits. Yeah. So. Hello. Okay. Yes, Mr. Isosa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, thank you very much for your class. You're welcome, sir. Um, um, uh, I like the answer you gave uh, concerning um, the True. positioning of your stop loss. Uh, mm -hmm. Align the, um, uh, get pos positioning it in such a way that the the market should break as in giving it a, a space for retracement yes. uh, exactly. or pullback so that it can continue. Thank you, sir. Um, for the amount you said is, is okay, but I don't know if you are going to talk about um, purely price action. I will do those to things. Technical I will analysis. Do those things. All of them. All of them. All because, of them. Because uh, some persons believe that uh, uh, indicators will be on your chart. You just trade I, I, them I indicators things, all through. I will, all of them, sir. I don't know whether you. I will do it. You just okay. Like, I don't know whether you have the few. I will, sir. I will, sir. You just book your slot immediately because once five people make their payments, sir, that and uh, is going to go back to the ten. I'm very sure of that. You get it, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, lastly, your 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 trade your trading pattern is it with indicators or you just trade um price action? All of them. I use new Sorry to ask, price, I just new to know. price action and indicators. That's why I told you I will go into everything. I have the course outline already. You get. Okay. Yeah. So thank you very much, Lars. This link 